Incidentally, did you know that the other six people that were ordered to show up in, oh, what was it, in court? You know, in front of the Congress, Congress of the United States to testify before Republic, before Senate and House committees. Coincidentally, somehow, all of their emails are gone and the hard drive crashed just for their emails. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah. They, they, this morning, Republican leadership on television admitted that it, it's t the next election is now irrelevant. They're expected to take the Senate, but they're not expected to take a veto-proof uh, membership in the Senate. And then the guy said, even if we did, it doesn't make any difference because the President of the United States is going to rule from the White House. The guy raised 114 taxes this weekend. He basically put his global ocean thing into effect by executive order today. He executive ordered the hiring practices by the federal government. He's executive ordered minimum wage. He's executive ordering uh, immigrate. He's talking to the immigration, he's honoring illegal immigrants today. And, uh, and they said that it makes no difference because they said, here's it is, Republicans say they will not impeach Obama unless the Democrats take the lead. The Democrats who now want him gone will not impeach Obama unless the Republicans take the lead, which means you have this president for two more years even though no one wants him. They want him gone. Mm. And then the, I got you the biggest thing. Breaking news this morning. As Hillary Clinton's polls are dying, they're tanking over Benghazi and other things, they found a, they found the ringleader of the, what happened, which never actually happened. And they've requested, their, the Justice Department is basically sending notification that they have to stop all the hearings on Benghazi because this, uh, we cannot get the information from this guy who read the stuff if they're holding an investigation at the time. So they're effectively stopping the Benghazi investigations now. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, they said it's a lawless administration. And deportation of child immigrants may violate the international treaty. Oh, yeah. Eric Holder said that one this morning, that we cannot because uh, we cannot Put the, because since they do not know where they came from, they don't know where their parents are, and the kids aren't going to tell you, which doesn't make any difference because they give them a ticket and put them on a, on a bus or something or a train and never see them again. So, I mean, there, there was it 6,000, uh, they said, well, 6,000 6, uh, illegals were re repatriated with their parents last week. Okay, the ones they sent back have been sent back at least three times before. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And for the first time ever, a computer passed Turing test for artificial intelligence. They always could. Uh, the trick is they can't beat a human. There's the, they, no matter, you can, uh, a computer can do an awful lot, but a computer cannot make that, okay, here's the trick is. Uh, why drones are dangerous is because what, if the human has not, if the human does not have control of that drone all the time, it will simply, that's why it's called a drone. And you can't, the, the human has to make the decision, do I pile it into, do I run it into that uh, milk factory or not, or do I blow it up before it hits the milk factory? Uh, our AI can't make that decision, it's just it's not, it doesn't have the capabilities of it. Wow. And Juan Williams obliterates GOPers for Craven flip-flop on Bergdahl. There's no flip-flop on Bergdahl. There, 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 you cannot find a single, I love the one, they, they, I saw, the other guy, the other day, even, was it Kirsten Powers, was in shock. The Republicans have, they're trying to be both sides of the issue. He's either an American hero or he's a traitor. Uh, she's, what? You will not find one member of the Republican Party or any, Repu or any member of the military that wasn't appointed by Obama to his job in office uh, that basically says the guy's not a deserter. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, don't worry, here's the thing is, the Obama administration is preparing to have Private who Sergeant, now Private, soon to be Second Lieutenant Bird Dahl, when they uh, retired under a mental discharge because his doctors have said that he's been adversely mentally affected and cannot answer questions or be tried because the Obama administration doesn't want him talking to people. Uh, here's how it works when you get, uh, when you've been through a trauma or you're an officer, you always go a rank higher. So he's going to retire as a second lieutenant uh, in the military and never have to answer a question for anything he's done, never. And Texas oh, Republicans have done hard line on immigration. 
gay rights? Well, yeah. They, first of all, they, they said they're here illegally. Oh, you're going to love this one. The city, uh, state of New York is preparing to pass legislation being the first democratically ran state to make legal citizens of everybody that is there illegally, including the terrorists that are coming in the country, the drug dealers. Uh, and That's a hard line? That's, that's, that, that's the Democrats, oh. the Republicans. But uh, in Texas, basically, they're here, they got laws, and actually the hard line is obeying the laws. But uh, the hard they, line is they said California is next on the list, and then comes Illinois and Michigan and Massachusetts. They're all going to legalize illegal aliens in states so that they can vote in the elections. And uh, one guy, what it was said this morning, that it's a debt. It, it basically, they have totally killed uh, immigration reform. Uh, it was actually dead yesterday when the President of the United States said, I saw, uh, it said, I didn't know that the borders were as porous as they were until I saw it on television. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, and then, but they said, um, the Supreme Court, uh, the Supreme Court is li it's likely to offend both sides of the issue in the Supreme Court, where they thought that, that Kennedy was the, the deciding factor. Well, no, the whole... Virtually everybody on the left in the court said, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. You simply cannot decide. Their federal law trumps state law. Federal law says they can't. They, you cannot be, you have to do such and such with citizens. They're going to, uh, okay, we'll put it this way. My father um, came to the country, came to this country in 1911. He was here but before they passed the law that automatically made everyone in the United States at that time a citizen. Right. But that was a federal law, not a state law. Well, you, you know, maybe the states are doing that because the federal, <laughs> they aren't really doing their job on the federal level either. No, they're doing it for one simple reason. What? Because by uh, legalizing the, okay, the, the states where the illegal aliens are in massive amounts are all controlled by Democrats, all of them. So by doing that, they increased the voters' rolls by 30 million people before the next. Uh, That's a lot. Before the next election. Oh wait, now here's the trick: Do they have to tell them where they live? Well, they don't care. You just got to legal make them state. You got to pass a blanket legislation that anyone residing in the state at that moment is a citizen of the state, which is not legal. So. Yeah, and this genius helped create the Avengers, X-Men, Captain America, Hulk, and Thor, and his family wants to get paid. Yeah, Jack Kirby. He, 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 the, the way it works is the guy never had a, a regular concrete. I mean, he basically did do it, but it's the same thing as the guy created Batman. He was a and one that played Superman. He was hired? They were hired guns for the studios. They didn't do this on their own. Uh -huh. yeah, and also Stan Lee was the co-creator of all of those things. He came up with, Stan Lee is not an artist, Stan Lee is a, he, he basically he can do art, but he's like Walt Disney. He was the person oh. that could tell you what was being done wrong. And he basically said, we need somebody to compete with, with the Disney stuff, we, 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 with, the, oh, with the National. So they created things that were basically nothing more than offshoots of, uh, of DC, which basically no longer had the problem with their DC and Marvel the same company. Interesting. Iraq crisis could signal the profound change in the U.S. Middle East policy. No, it's not going to make any changes. Obama is basically going to, he's basically screwed everything up. Oh, but you know, he, he saw this getting out of control on television. He does, he, okay. Is no that one like in, the border? No, he, uh, like Benghazi, like everything. He see everything for the last three or four years, he sees it on television before he actually you know, he has no idea that any of this is going on. He's caught by surprise until he sees it on TV. Ooh. And solar will destroy the power companies in five easy steps. No, it won't, because it can't be done. Here's the big deal. Most of the places in the United States do not have enough sunlight for solar. In California, we have June gloom. June gloom basically kills solar. Uh, you have so solar is not a practical thing because there is no means of storing. The, okay, I seen. You know what you have to do to store? You have to build huge tanks of water in the ground, and you cover those huge tanks with tons of rock so that you can keep the heat in, and that's how you make the solar system work. Oh, that's how you do it. Because you can't. The batteries aren't good enough. We're gonna go. Most people don't know this, but years ago. Uh, one of the former heads of Screen Actors Guild was actually a nuclear fusion expert and a solar expert. 
he got into a debate on a show that I was on with uh, Jane Fonda. <laughs> he said, yeah. he called her, she didn't know what she was talking about. She said, well, what are you, an expert in the field? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. That the battery power, the batteries are still not there. We can't even fly a cruddy Dreamliner across uh, from one spot to another because the batteries don't work. And rising sea levels are exposing bodies of buried World War II soldiers. Of course, I don't, that, no, I, that doesn't happen that way. When the water retreats, you find the bodies. When the water goes higher, it covers the bodies. Ooh. But that's, that's, that's what they're, they're laughing at that. That's more faulty climate change stuff. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay, it's a, it's a non-winner to try to please everyone because you actually can't please anyone.